additions to the barn are coming along nicely. We have added three pigs for our market fair and they'll probably be here for a couple of weeks. So I went and picked up them up as well as two market lambs, which are currently at the student's house that is raising them. And my students, actually many people in the school were pretty excited to see pigs. So I'm not so excited because they're very smelly and all I have to do is spend a few minutes in here and then I also smell like pigs. A little squeaking sound is coming from my little bottle lamb who is still making trips with me to school. State convention is Thursday and Friday. So I have had to task a student with feeding him during the day because Thursday we're leaving at 1030 and getting back super late. So he will be coming and going with me every day when I go home and when I come back to school in the morning. And then Friday is a pretty early morning. But thankfully, I have a student staying behind not going to the state FFA convention with us that will be able to take care of him. My grow out chicks from late mid to late March are doing very well. They're growing like crazy. I am now able to tell male from female. So maybe tomorrow I'll give a quick lesson on that. And that's about it for exciting things in the school ag barn. I didn't really have a fact of the day, although we did do a fact in my eighth grade class about the New York State FFA camp, Camp Oswegatchie, but fact for another day. I did forget to mention my students, of course, are very creative with their naming and they wanted to go with the Top Gun theme of names for the pigs.